for me, living with HIV is kind of like living normally. Um, yes, I am always aware that I have HIV, but I'm usually only reminded when I take my medication. Um, most of the time, I am well. Have you had to battle the stigma, the taboo that's kind of um, gone hand in hand? Yes and no. Um, in general, people living with HIV fear a stigma that it does exist and people hide and don't show their face and don't say, hello, it's me, I'm living with HIV. But personally, I've never had a bad reaction to someone when I've been talking about HIV, raising awareness in general. And people sort of going, oh, but I don't know anyone. And I'm going, well, hello, my name's John and I'm living with HIV. Never had a bad reaction. Um, but people do still, I know people still sort of talk behind behind my back and probably go point and go, oh yes, he, he's got HIV. But I think unless people like me and others stand up and say, hello, um, I've got HIV, in the way that 30 years ago people didn't say, hello, I've got cancer, uh, we'll never move forward. Well, Gibraltar is a small community, so have you had any negative reaction to your condition here in The Rock? It is a small community, but I've not had any I'm glad to say I haven't had any bad experiences. Um, all I've found in Gibraltar is a warm, friendly uh, community that has just accepted me for who I am. Um, it really is, to me, just a friendly, happy community. And I suspect that there are people who have grown up here, who are living with HIV, who will be worried about telling their friends that they grew up with that they're living with HIV um, and I can understand that um, but I I write a blog about living with HIV I've written that for five years I couldn't coming here keep my integrity and keep it hidden so that's why I'm talking to you <laughs> and it is World, um, World AIDS Day we it talk about awareness so if there had to be a message from yourself what would it be? message from myself is if you're having sex uh, and you're not aiming to get pregnant, um, use a condom. They're available in various places, chemists, shops, wherever. You get hold of them, use them. Um, it is the best way of protecting yourself. If you're using, if you're a drug user, you always use a clean needle. Um, and if you're a mother who's, uh, who is HIV positive, there are ways of taking treatment to stop it transmitting to your baby. Nowadays, modern transfusions in most countries in the developed world are scanned, but be aware of them. Uh, if you're in developing countries, it may not be scanned for HIV. And with regards to medication, what does the treatment actually involve? When I was diagnosed, I <laughs> the first set of medication I had to take was uh, two tablets, uh, in the morning, two other tablets the same 12 hours later, and when, and when do you take them? 8 o'clock and 8 o'clock, or 10 and 10, or 12 and 12, or when do you do it? And another one in the middle of the day, and it was huge. Nowadays, I'm glad to say I'm down to one tablet. Um, one of these, I have them in my hand. Um, one, one a day, I take them before I go to bed, because we always go to bed. <laughs> It's easy to remember.